we're fifth in the corn fairy tour rankings that's pretty good going and what have we got next we have got the california classic at the riviera country club yeah let's jump into that EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From the home of three major championships, Riviera Country Club, it's live opening round coverage of the California Classic. I'm um, currently two under. This is going to be on compelling four days of golf. A lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round oh, one. three to start. A lot of folks fighting for the title, including our leader. No. I don't Let's know if it tells right you anyway how many holes. Oh, it does. Five, five holes three, left. 14. Okay. So I'll be playing the last five holes of the course. Now, ideally, this will be a high fade, I think. This is going to be. Do we go for it? Or do we go more sort of a little bit safer over here? Need to hit this well though. It's pretty good. Turn a little bit. That's pretty good. Certainly had enough power, just didn't have any touch. What's that camera go? Now, do we try another chip? We have chipped in twice in the previous tournament. Or do we go something more like a do a flop. Yeah, I think a flop. Well, that just didn't go anywhere. He has a twelve footer here. That's just started right straight away. These greens are weird. I do do think that the beads are just not right. Um, yeah, that's really not a good way to start. Especially when the AI had got us in a good position being two under. The 15th hole here at Riviera at 487 yards at par four. It is the number two handicap hole, so that can speak to its difficulty. The one well-placed bunker at the elbow of the dog leg must be avoided, and the green is believed by many to be the toughest to read on the course. It will be in, in an EA game. It will be very, very tough to read. Right, I think this is ideal for a fade. Swings are all over the place, though. It's not a tidy looking line. That will be in the rough. After that bogey at the it's last weird because uh, when I was playing, like I say, the past week, like just offline the, uh, doing crazy. challenges and things like that, not playing Korean mode, my swing's been really good. Um, maybe should have had a practice before I actually started live streaming, but. Tempo was wrong, but that's a nice line. No, don't bounce too much. That's all the fair way. I didn't want it to stop short. That's a 45 no, very conservative approach shot. Mm. So safe side of the green, but as we can all attest, a long way from the hole. I 
I think it's about a grid and a half, maybe more actually, but I forgot to check whether um Yeah, I'm not sure what settings this is on, whether it's on slow conditions or what. Very good swing. That. It's turned way too much. Maybe this is on um, different settings in the last tournament because that is turning a lot. Yeah, good part. That's beautiful part here at 15. And he'll remain at one under par. Par's not too bad, though. On now to the 16th at 166 yards. It's the smallest green on the course, but the difficulties don't end there. It's also surrounded by three deep and large bunkers. Plus, that tree left of the tee box can get you if you're not careful. This would be ideal for um, maybe a high fade. Very nice, very close. Yeah, very good shot, taking it in right of the hole and a good look upcoming. See if he can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Ah, that a cool okay, so that's our first birdie of the round. Just the AI got a few earlier on. Next up, the longest hole on the course at 590 yards. The really want to start giving ourselves a chance at uh, challenging for the lead as it works toward in the next few tournaments. And features bunkers on either side of the fairway. Now, obviously, in that last tournament in round four, we really pushed it close. And we ended up getting fourth spot. Um, but we left ourselves with too much to do, really, after the first cut rounds we only just made the cut again that's a weird looking swing weird looking line rather for me stay there stay there beautiful tempo to that swing and this is going to wind up got a little bit lucky with that one now from way back better than 300 yards yeah i mean obviously we're not going for this because it's just impossible to get there um a little bit further left would have been nice where for where the uh, the pin is gonna have to probably draw this one in we're going to have to hit one more club here Frank little bit uphill. Oops, You're not that much uphill. <laughs> kind of underswung somehow. <sighs> Good line. It was that underswing. To that deep bunker short of the green. Looking to splash this softly onto the green. Very nice shot. Oh, the hands came through beautifully there. Good thump of the sand. And a good chance to save par. But you don't want to be trying to save par on a par five. 
Missed chance there, I think. Yeah, still top five at the moment. Closing hole, the 18th here at Riviera at 475 yards. You're asked to hit your tee shot onto a 30 foot rise that features hillside to the left and gully to the right. From there, it is a tough approach into the amphitheater green. Very nice looking uh, course. I'm not familiar with this one. Starting a hair right. But those uh, trees aren't on the way or anything. On the approach. Is that okay? That's right. Factoring in this breeze in his face as he sets for a second. Too close to the trees. Um, it's sort of in between clubs. That's just a terrible swing. Bounce right, bounce right. No, 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 no. Well, had a good look at the <sighs> but couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. It's fairly safe. Just five feet left. Not the easiest to put, so. Oh. Boy, that is gonna leave a As I say, hitting it by. See, I've overread that one. Um, well, I've been underreading them. Okay, a shake of the head. Okay, yeah, very untidy. He'll fall back. To one under par. 17. One last look at the leaderboard, Frank. Our featured golfer down, but not out after day one. Yeah, they might have to take the standing eight, though, or we'll hit the reset button. All right, let's jump into round two. Also, our main aim is to make the cut, first of all. Projected cut line plus three. Okay, fairway. Green firmness, fast, firm, firm. Yeah, okay, that's why it's turning a lot more. Completely different conditions to the last Ian tournament. Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to feature some of the best young talent in the world of golf. From Pacific Palisades, California. I mean, we're looking good for the cut. Riviera Country Club live second round coverage of the California Classic. Things starting to slowly take shape here on this Friday for some. It is to be uh, for the top doing more than just aiming for the cut, though. It's a fight to stick around for the weekend as we show you the leaderboard. We've got a tie at the top at six under par. So let's get you out to the action on the turn as we head to the tee at Could the we par four ten. I mean, that was yeah, pretty close. Nice swing and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just... If you're going to miss it just short of it, uh, that's fine. Close from here. This is second. I think we'll try to spin it and not overhit it like we have done previously. Aim it a little bit right. Oh, that's a beautiful shot there. 
use that stock really well. Really bombing a tee shot down there. Sets up a simple little chip and a birdie. Good way to start. Very good way to start. Arriving now at the second par five of the course, the 583 yard 11. Eucalyptus trees lining both sides of the fairway, and a grass with a rank about 200 yards from the green has to be navigated on your second shot. This is where we really need to make a difference, though. The, the par fives, I mean, we've got a par on the last round. Uh, not on this hole, but the par five. Really got to take your chances on these. Are those branches going to be in the way? The biggest of fairways at Riviera, but that's a good drive here at 11. It's very close to the. Oh no, the tree's well out of the way. Do we have a chance to make this? I mean, we do, but. Um, what about an iron? How's that looking? A low faded iron. Go on. Get close, get close. Stop, 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 stop. Ah, oh, that was a beautiful shot, though. I mean, overran a tiny bit, but um, shot on this par five that completely took the green out of play. Airmail, that is a big mistake. Chance here, six six inches down, but we are on the fringe. So I think we just drop a little bit of weight, not too much. Hasn't turned. It's gone left, if anything. Yeah, these sometimes these beats just don't make sense. Um, that was definitely the other way. But R5 got a birdie. That's back to back now. The 12th hole at Riviera is a tricky one of 479 yards. It's narrow with OB to the left, and it forces you to carry a ravine on your approach into a green protected by a sycamore tree left. And a large Beautiful looking right. course. Quite now a fair way. straight. That looks good. It's pretty much spot on. About 320-ish. 315. And it's kind of in between. Maybe if I do finesse. This could be good. This could be 
a little bit of a soft bounce, but that's pretty good. It's not bad. Ten foot that's to the hole. Shot. And more importantly, too, a green and regulation. Slight so underswing. Eleven feet away. Right, this is definitely right or left. You can see all the beads are right or left. I did go right or left. Just turned too much that time. Uh, I think that's one way I'm second guessing myself on the puts because I'm, I'm trying to second guess what the game is going to do and really I should just focus on and trust that the beads are going to be correct and if they're not, they're not. Um, really should have got a birdie there. Okay, we're in the top 20. Where the 12th bent left to right Number 13 goes the other way, trying to make you utilize all the shots in your arsenal. That's the mark of a This really is pivot design. for us, a nice draw. This one again featuring a narrow landing zone leading up to a smallish heart-shaped green. Just what you want at this point. Absolutely around. spot on. Trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club. And only 140 to the hole. Right there. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. 142 yards left to the hole, sitting in the front left hole location. That's a very good swing. That could be absolutely spot on. Oh, that's probably the best swing I've made in this uh, today. Nice birdie, very nice. That was all about the approach. Will certainly help the cause. And of course, the more sort of fade and height and low shots, things like that that you put on the ball, the harder it is stuff you hit the shot. The yeah, forgiveness goes right down. Now, with me being a draw player, putting a draw on can help sometimes, but let's just have a look. I think we'll finesse this one. And maybe a bit of a draw in. Yeah, it's about right because it should spin left if we hit this uh, correctly. When it hits the green. Again, that's a good swing. Felt good. It's a little bit underpowered. That's okay. That's okay. A little bit okay. more power would have been great. A good shot. Front left portion of the green and a birdie opportunity coming up. 21 foot putt set to go. Okay, and it's right or left. I'm going to say with the speed of the greens, it's probably about half a grid line there. Actually, a bit more. Hit it well. And that hasn't turned. Nope. <laughs> Hasn't turned. I don't know if that's me or if that's the game. I don't know. Well, it hasn't turned at all. But that's three under. That's pretty good. Ninth after two rounds, giving ourselves a chance. Right, we'll jump in to the third round. See what position we're on the leaderboard at once we get into the game. EA Sports 
and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this look at the future stars in the sport of golf. One over. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, man. Four over for today. Sunset Boulevard at Riviera Country Club for third round coverage of the California Classic. Okay. Well, if yesterday was any indication, we should be in I mean, that's just took it out of our hands, really, hasn't it? And that's the problem with playing the quick rounds. On this Saturday. We've got a tie. And I'm not saying it's... I mean, it, so it, let's get out it, it's realistic in a way, I suppose. Because uh, that, that can happen, but... On the par four, just frustrating. 15. And I, I just... I don't want to play four rounds on every tournament. Um... Under swing and slow, but the line's good. I mean, obviously on the majors and things like that. Whenever we get into big tournaments, then yes, we we'll want to probably play the four rounds. But even that's quite lengthy. Ideally, I'd want to play two rounds really. Right, we'll definitely play high with a bit of a draw. Above my feet, so it will go a little bit left. That looks about right if I land it there. Now that felt good, but it's gone way right. Don't know why it's gone right. We turn to Nota Begay the third for this look at birdie. And these are the putts he hasn't been able to do much with all day. This doesn't have a whole lot of movement to it, and he could surely use it. Yeah. Okay. Now that felt good, but again, it's turned straight away. The other one didn't turn at all, and that looked about the same speed. Good stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed Decent any better than that. Okay, a solid I don't know if it's just this course, but it feels different than um, when I last played the career mode. I haven't played the career mode since the patch, so maybe they've changed something. I don't know. It's a tough one at 166 yards. Hit it anywhere on the putting surface, you'll likely be just fine. Miss, and you're almost certain to be in one of the four bunkers framing the entirety God, this is a, of the green. Yeah, this is a tricky looking um, par three, isn't it? I think this definitely looks like a high. Oh, I can't do a high fade. There's a tree there. The draw's not ideal for where the the hole is. Go on, go left a little bit. Oh, absolutely spot on. That one safely on the putting surface. After a brilliant tee shot, this for birdie. Just not overthinking that. Just put it in. Nice birdie. And he's got it back to even par. What an approach that was. So. Back to level par. Our final turn back up toward the clubhouse as we come to the five chance of a par five here. Par five seventeen. Getting on here into is no sure thing, especially given all the bunkers that pop up along the way. Okay, I'm quite often over swinging but hitting it slow. Um, I know other people have said that no matter what they do, they often just hit it slow. So I'm not sure whether that's the game or just not perfecting the swing. I'm not really sure. Could be a bit of both.
Now. Now if this lands fairly softly. And we hit it well. Oh, that fell off there. Again, it says slow. Don't bounce too much. That's going to be way over the back, is it? I mean, that's rolled. <laughs> Look, I, I know par fives are long holes. A bit of a ridiculous amount there. And what is this camera angle? Touch the putting surface. Had to be the wrong club. I know it's ambitious, but look where it is now. Can we flop it? No, we can't. Do long flop. Jesus, where's this going? How has that gone over there? I've hit that absolutely dead straight. Frank, it's obvious he caught a flyer right there. Explain what that means. Well, you have loft, right? The ball's going to take off on the loft. They put grooves on the on the on the golf club so you can have nice contact. If those grooves fill up with a little bit of grass, then you have no grooves and you have nothing. They shot the bunker. Extra spin on the golf ball. So that is a flyer. And this will be a five-foot putt here. Okay, not what we wanted on a par five. Yeah, that's, that's a par. Tough. Save the par, but for par here at 17, and he'll stay at level par. Yeah, we're just falling further back, though. That's Here's the trouble. Here's a tough one to finish out our day at Riviera, the famous 475-yard par four 18. This one cut right up against the side of the hill on the left. You'll need to keep something in the fairway here to have a good approach into that renowned 18th green. I do like how they've got different commentary, even for the same holes. Because um, we played this one before and I had a very different commentary for that. So I do like that. says slow. I don't know how. I pulled it back very quickly and pushed back very quickly. Good shot though. Yeah, nothing to fault there. Good balance. Good follow through and a good start to this hole. Really loving this game though. I know there's... I'm complaining about a few things, but don't want you to think like I don't like the game. I absolutely love it. I just think there's a few things that need to iron out. One, three, three, the number. All the way to the flagstick. Pin front left so he can take dead aim. Yeah, we're going to draw this in. Bit of height. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. Absolutely spot on that. Oh, I always knew that was going to be a good shot when I left the club touch. What's that? Eight or nine feet? Excellent shot. This is not a this nice putt, though, is it? Left here for birdie. Get in. Yes, yeah, get in there. Good putt there. It's a really good nice putt, just right edge of the air that cup. This a third round score of and that gets us inside the top 20. Without a doubt, a disappointing Saturday for our featured golfer. High expectations coming in. But remember, they, that start off with uh, the AI dropping shots for me. So you have to sort of compete with that as well. Uh, fourth round current score minus two. Okay, let's just jump in and see where we are on the leaderboard because sometimes it changes a little bit by the time you jump in. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour bring you the best young talent in the world of golf. From Pacific Palisades, just west of Los Angeles, Riviera Country Club, the site. Look at that view, though. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, 10 under with no class. chance for that. It is the great challenge but if we can get these golfers maybe try and push for that top five i say top ten together, really trying to best mother nature and this course and trying to beat the entire field 
as we check the leaderboard. Some good names up there, including our leader. So out to the action we Let's go just have a quick look at this leaderboard again. The so good news is that we're, the AI team. have had us one over, one under for the round roller, so no drop shots yet. Um, we are two under. Fifth spot, because we've been fourth twice in a row. Top five is 500 at the moment, but you're probably looking at more than that. So we've got six holes to play as well. seems to be that 1.5% slow. Bounce left a little bit. Yeah, that's uh, absolutely spot on. That will do just fine. 150 to the hole. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time. Slightly above no our feet. The third. Fade is probably the all the way on the right. Do we actually want to fade it though? Now I've hit that absolutely spot on. Here we go. Go. A little bit more. I know that's inside almost five foot, but. Now the putting though. Nice putt. But that's a good start. Good start. Now I need to keep that going. Head now to the 14th, the par three at 192 yards. This green's on a slight incline and given the ocean. Pins on the left, that'll be good for a draw. That's good for us. The narrow green is flanked by two bunkers left and another two And the wind should hold it up a little bit. That's that's pretty good for us. So we do a high. Let's have a look at that. Do you want to do a high draw or just a draw? Makes it easier to hit the shot. Hit it, perfect. Bounce left, bounce left, bounce left, come on. So yeah, not putting the height on was a good decision. Okay, that one's Could have maybe attacked the flag a little bit more. I did aim a little bit further right than there, uh, just to counter the fact that if you miss it, it's slightly... It's downhill a little bit, but we'll leave the power just about on the cup. It's maybe right or left. Very nice. Perfectly judged. Back to back birdies on a bit of a roll here. Come on. Next up, the part four into the top ten now. Yards. It's another one that favors someone who can move the ball left to right off the tee. Yeah, Faden's not a strong point, but right, this is ideal for Fade. A fairly accessible green. Should be in the fairway. Well, How far have we got to the hole? Drop it any better than that. That is a 175, so right it's still there. a fair distance, but ideally placed. He's at his back shoulder as he lines up his second from the fairway. It's below our feet, so we'll go a bit right. Everything's basically going right here. Go 
be good. Bounce right, bounce right, come on. Oh, look at that, again. Another 10 footer. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. This is an 11 foot putt. Oh, oh, it just turned not quite enough. I'm trying not to overthink the putts too much. Just go with my instinct and go for the putt. That nearly three birdies in a row. On now to the 16th at 166 yards. It's the smallest green on the course, but the difficulties don't end there. It's also surrounded by three deep and large bunkers. Plus, yeah. that tree left of the tee box can get you if you're not careful. I do think the commentary is a massive strong point in this game. I always turn the commentary off on PGA 2K23. And that's not because it was terrible or anything. It's just because I've been playing it for a few years and the commentary seemed to be pretty similar um, through each iteration. Um, but... PJ have really got the, the, the company nails. I mean, EA do a very good job at um, presentation on games, don't they? So I suppose shouldn't really be surprised. Um, but yeah, I think they've just absolutely nailed it. Right. The wind will hold this up a little bit. Do we play it a little bit safe? Felt good. Yeah, added a little bit of extra power, and that's made the difference. But great shot. Not a bad put from there, really. It's got a fair bit of movement at the start, so this will go right or left. No, the power just powered through the break there. Which I thought it might, but I didn't want to overthink it, like I said. But we're giving ourselves barely chances. We're not taking the past two, but we've already got two holes left. Um, can we get into that top five again? Got an evil chance. Potentially on this hole. As it works toward the clubhouse and features bunkers on either side of the fairway. Absolutely love that one. Has it gone a bit too far left? Just going to stay in the fairway, I think. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, is this the one the last time where we... Um, it just bounced off the... Oh God. It just kept rolling, I think, didn't it? Can we go for a power approach, but on the three iron we can. Maybe do a high fade. I mean, that fell good. Is the line right? The line's slightly off. Oh, could get a little bit of luck there, though. Just on the fringe. Oh, that worked out really well. Not quite on the green, but certainly in a um, to make birdie. Maybe the spinner? Very nice shot. Very nice. Another excellent shot from around the green. 
So now eyeing this one for birdie. Done. Exactly what we needed. Give ourselves a brilliant chance uh, for Bailey there. We've got it. Fifth spot. Such a unique closing hole. The 18th here at Riviera. Can we get a little bit higher up the leaderboard? Your tee shot onto a 30-foot rise. It features hillside to the left. That's a quick look at the leaderboard. Approach into the amphitheater green. Yeah, again, a birdie as it stands, obviously, because the other guys at the top have got a lot more holes to play. Could get us another top four finish. We've got fourth in two tournaments running. But ideally, if we can just keep in that top five, that's what we want. I'd be happy with that. Felt sweet. Is starting up the right side. No it is. There. It's definitely one of those games that you do get into a rhythm, and you probably need to. I, I think it does. From the fairway. Let's do you tend to play better by playing in longer sessions? Um, unless you're getting a really bad streak, then it's sometimes you just need to give it a rest for a bit. But you must land the ball left of the hole to get it close. I think maybe a finesse here. Now if we hit this low, is that still gonna be short? I'm not sure. Don't spin, don't spin. Oh my word. Oh, oh man, I thought that was in. And it was one of the best we've seen here at the closing hole. What a shot to finish, though. If that had gone in, what a way that would have been to uh, finish the tournament. But a birdie, six under. Pretty proud with that, uh, that fourth round finish. 66. And we've actually finished tied for third. I mean, look at the lead. The, the, the lead in most is almost been well off where we are. That's three top five finishes in a row. That was brilliant. Love that last shot there. It just makes you feel good just to get a, you know, to finish well. Um, and we're still fifth in the Corn Ferry Tour rankings, which is about equivalent to um, where we've been finishing each time, so that makes sense. Now let's have a quick look. Now we have leveled up, so we've only got two points, mind. What do we want to improve? Is there anything... We could potentially, yeah, improve the control, which also gets further towards unlocking other shots. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And obviously the, the further up you go, the more points you need. Um, probably wanna get that putting up at some point as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, cost of three. Texas Wedge, unlock the gold up there. Let's have a look at the equipment as well. So we have got the player's bag. What about the driver? Let's go with the, uh, the Bubba Watson driver. We'll go with a pink uh, I was going to say the pink shaft that does sound um, like a euphemism yeah we'll equip 
that as well. Thing is, you have to equip for each. Uh... It's a bit of a pain because you have to. Think, equip for every single one. Yes, that's tailor made. If I go into four iron, yeah. But I suppose that means you can customize every single club. But I don't know if there are any players out there that um, have different brands for different irons. I don't think they would. Well, they wouldn't, would they? But again, we'll want to unlock more equipment, and you can buy equipment, but also you can unlock it through the challenges, which uh, which is where we've got some of these from. Uh, we haven't unlocked uh, wedges. I'm assuming none of these either yet. Golf ball. Uh, I mean, I don't feel right using, and I'm using the player's bag, but I don't really feel right using one of these when I haven't even competed yet in it. Um, so we could go for a ping. We could go for the Scotty Cameron. I think we'll go for the Scotty Cameron. Why not? And maybe just use that because it just looks better. I think I think we'll use that one for now. Ball marker. I think we'll stick with. Let's go for a nice bright red ball marker. Don't want any ball trails or anything like that. Not that we've got any outfits. I think we'll leave that for another day. But you can select for the four different rounds, which is good. And the next one is going to be the Florida Open at Ponte Vedra Beach. So probably leave that one for next time. So I hope you can join me for that one. But we're doing well. Uh, we still need to improve. I'm still improving my game. And obviously improving the player will help that. But um, a lot of it is down to me. Hopefully some patches will be on the way soon from EA. So we can potentially do full rounds for some of these. But not the full four. Uh, we'll have to see how long that's going to take. But yeah, thank you very much for joining. Hope you enjoy the videos. Drop any comments down below, any tips you may have or anything you'd like to see. If you'd like me to play any challenges um, in the videos, maybe in between rounds or something like that, I could do that. But yeah, join me next time and I'll see you all then. Cheers.